This parasha contains many positive commandments, many positive precepts in order to guide the Israelites in the right path. Two of them are especially important because they stress you must not remain indifferent or do not ignore it. In Hebrew it says uh, it al you should not it ale, meaning you should not hide from them. Now what are those two precepts? Very interestingly, one is returning uh, lost property. A man finding something that was left it has to take the trouble to, to, uh, to return this uh, lost property. It could be even an animal. And if he doesn't know who the owner is, he has to take the animal into his home and treat him and take care of him until he can find the owner of that animal, which is a, a, a fabulous thing because most people tend to not get involved, but he has to take this animal into his home and tend to him until he finds the, the, uh, the owner. Another one is if you see an animal in distress, meaning an animal carrying a big lo uh, load and he cannot carry, you cannot uh, ignore it. You have to help that animal. And it could be your fellow's animal, not yours, but you have the obligation to take care of that animal. Now, these two things that are so emphasized are so proper because most people don't want to get involved. You see something, you're busy about your own uh, things, you don't want to get involved, especially not with an animal of somebody else's. But the, here the Torah stresses that this is the obligation because, and that's what the Torah st refers to, uh, that your fellow is your brother. Your brother meaning that you have an obligation, and it doesn't say if it's a Jew or, or a non-Jew or whoever it is, uh, one must not hide. And this is the key principle of this basic social education, aiming to remove this natural tendency. And in the picture that you see, of Avner Moria, we see that the star, the mountains in back, we see an, a situation, two registers, one showing an animal carrying a very heavy load and about to fall under, and the man then takes the load and carries it on his back so the animal can continue walking. And in the background, we see red mountains red mountains, no mountains are red, but it, the, stre the emphasis here is that just like there are no red mountains, a man's nat natural uh, tendency to ignore should be wiped out, and he should do what he needs to do according to the Torah.